Starting off, there's a relatively minor divergence, which leads to a prolonged flattening of the trend instead of an immediate reversal. Now with some decisive closes lower, and the usual drop of the CCI below the 0 to minus 100 range, it can be said there's a strong start to a new downtrend. For additional detail, we can also add the Arun indicator, which I've also already covered, so you can watch that series too if you need more information on what's going on here, where a bearish perspective for a sustained downtrend would favor Arun lower, remaining at the higher ranges of the Arun indicator, along with the standard characteristics of the CCI remaining close to or below minus 100 during the stronger portions of a major downtrend. And for additional bearish advantage, it would also be preferable to see a rune upper at the 30 to 0 range. Though once these conditions begin to fade, there's less favor for the downtrend, and a reversal back up becomes more likely. Now, if a Fibonacci retracement is applied, the fading of bearish conditions displayed by the indicators also happen to be around the site of a major continuation taking place after this deeper downward retracement began to end. Now, in terms of breaking over 25 decisively, it would be best to see price keep closing higher while CCI values remain close to 100 or higher while at the same time a rune upper remains at its upper range and a rune lower remains at its lower range and again once these values are not met less favorable conditions for the uptrend emerge and a bearish reversal isn't guaranteed but it becomes more likely and here it is the distinct shift back to a bearish advantage which sustains a drop until those bearish conditions are not met a return to bullish conditions being met, but they are not sustained for long. Instead, some bearish conditions emerge, but they're relatively weak as well, and not sustained for long either. If we take a look with the Fibonacci retracement, we can extend it higher now, but this large fib is too wide and imprecise for these more recent and volatile movements, so we bring it into this closer range based on the last major upswing and these recent transitions are revealed to have taken place at a deeper retracement level, which was also at the site of a double bottom formation, which provides extra bullish context to clearly explain why there was a relatively large and rapid upswing at this area that was also confirmed by the indicators, showing strong bullish conditions during that brief period. 